Welcome to the TechnologyCloset.com and our quick shots. In this quick shot, we're going to create a virtual hard drive in Windows 8. A virtual hard drive is a file that could be any size up to 2 gigabytes that Windows treats as if it's a hard drive. We look at it more as a container. And in the container, you can put things like files and folders. Let's do that. To create one, we're going to have to go to the desktop. From the desktop, we have our computer icon already on the desktop. Right mouse click on it and select Manage. When the management window comes up, select Disk Management on the left. That will scan all the disks on your hard on your hard drive and anything external to your hard drive. As you can see, we have a C drive and we have an external partitioned 80 gigabyte hard drive. We're now going to create a virtual hard drive or VHD. To do that, select Action. From the menu below, select Create VHD. Give it a location. In this case, we're going to browse to the external 80 gigabyte hard drive. Make sure that it's listed. And we're going to give this hard drive, virtual hard drive, a name. We're going to call it Test. And we're going to save it. There's our Test VHD and its location. We're going to use the default VHD hard drive format. And we're going to select Fixed Size. How big do we want this? Well, we're going to start out small. We're going to make a 50 megabyte hard drive or virtual hard drive. Once we have that in place, select OK. Now that will create the disk. As you see at the bottom, there's our disk. Now, from here, we have one thing we have to do before we can start using it. Well, actually two. We got, since we're going to treat this like a hard drive, First, we have to initialize it. So over here, it is listed as Disk 2. Right mouse click and select Initialize Disk. Make sure that you are on the virtual drive and not the basic hard drive. And initialize. Make sure it says Disk 2. And we want it as the default MBR for Master Boot Record. Click OK. Now it's already been initialized. All we need to do now is actually format it. We're not going to do any of that right now, though. What we're going to do next is we're going to dismount or disconnect from this virtual hard drive because we no longer need it. We're going to delete it, but you just can't delete it from here. So what we have to do is right mouse click on the drive and detach uh, from the virtual hard drive. Just detach it. Select that. Is this the one we want to detach? Click OK. And now you notice it's gone. It's not forgotten though. If we open up the computer again, go to our 80 gigabyte hard drive, we do see the test file. And it shows 51 megabytes. At this point we can click on it left mouse right mouse click and we can delete it and it's gone so we have created one initialized it prepared it for use for file storage and then deleted it well that's it for this quick shot please visit our website at the technologycloset.com and while you're there click on the button to subscribe to our youtube channel until next time